Well, sucks for you, lady. Sucks for you. Alright, I guess the only thing that we can do here... Well, before we actually talk to this fool... Uh, you're the same? Alright. The only thing we, that we can do now is to continue up to the north, to the, uh, to the Four Deuces. I don't know if I should save or not. Uh, I'll wait a little. Oh, there's a treasure chest uh, over here that contains... Ring Frame! Alright! How many f ring fragments in this uh, area? Uh, let me count, viewers. Uh, only one. And we got it. Alright. Cool, cool. I have my checklist here open at all time. Who is this guy? Uh, Becked, uh, cured by music. If you talk about Chicago, you talk about jazz. When I hear those hot melodies, my heart just melts. Well, music's... music is fine, I guess. Music is alright. Well, some of you, uh... uh younger, uh, younger, uh... <laughs> the younger crowd, the people that were born in the late 90s, have a shit taste in music. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Blunt Oliver, I don't care if you come in the shop, but if you don't, if you don't, if you do anything stupid, I'm gonna toss you out of the street. Uh, I'm gonna toss you out on the street. Get it? I guess uh, have a nice day. Can't uh, read today, huh? Immoral Rodimus, already coming to a nightclub at your age? I'm pretty jealous. Ah well, go on in, kid. Oh, these guys are cool. Thank you very much. Let's get in. To the far deuces. Ooh, this area is big. Good greeter, Gaston. G3, welcome to the nightclub. Melodic jazz and fine spirits. Please have a good time. Damn. Give me, lady, give me your finest, most expensive cup of milk. Uh, soft, uh, soft demeanored Katie. Don't sweat it, Kit. They also serve uh, non-alcoholic cocktails here too. Oh. Well, uh, then this is. Uh, I can actually enjoy my time in this uh, club. I wonder if uh, actual pubs actually do that. I don't know. I've never been to one of yours. Nina, intoxicated with herself. <laughs> isn't she in uh, isn't she employed here doesn't she work here hey hey I've heard that uh, the waitresses uh, here are chosen for their looks so that means I must be <laughs> uh, that's not uh, a really good thing to, to brag about lady trust me Sensible Smokey. If you're a gentleman, a tuxedo. If you're a lady, an evening dress. It's just common sense. Well, I guess I don't belong. What if I'm a boy that looks uh, that look like a bitch? Like uh, Johnny here. Yeah, Johnny's not that annoying. I gotta be honest with you, viewers. He's not that annoying. He's actually, he's actually fine. Just sitting here alone like this, you'd uh, think somebody nice would come sit down and talk uh, to a lonely old me. Huh. I don't think this is an, an occasion, or this is a place uh, for people, uh, for single people to come hang out in. Unless the music is really good. Hunting for leads, Lex. Every day, work, work, work. 
I'd like to see them try being a reporter for a, for a change. See how they like it. Oh, so this guy is a reporter. Hello, lady. Samantha, who found her calling. It's busy, but I like working here. The customers are nice, and I also get to hear uh, live jazz. And uh, you also wear a nice, uh, a nice dress. I gotta be honest, I'm a, I'm a big fan. I am a big fan. Oh, this lady seems a uh, little. On the rebound, Orange. I'm a jazz musician, but a little while back I lost my job, so I came here to make a comeback. Don't call to comeback. I've been there for years. Hello, Cool J. Behind the scene. Uh, uh, Clemens, don't worry. You're going to be uh, up there on the stage some uh, someday. I believe in you. Oh, oh. His underage uh, lady friend believes in him. Uh, Al Capone is the most famous gang boss in Chicago. There isn't a single soul in town who hasn't heard of him. Said uh, still kicking Lewis. Never. Ailing Fort. The area around here is almost all uh, Capone's turf. Right now, they're pretty much the strongest gang. Al Capone's gang, huh? Best of the best, huh? Alright. We can't talk to these people, huh? Hmm. I really don't know if you want to talk to this guy now. Lo, the robust guardsman. This leads to Mr. Capone's office. No one's allowed inside. Alright. Oh, so these are the guys that were... Uh, that were trying to prevent us from going up. Uh, just to be safe, viewers. Just to be safe, I want to throw a save here. Yeah, I know, I know that we really didn't do anything, but... You know, better be safe than sorry. Better be safe than sorry. What up, Phil? This is the place. Don't even think of doing anything funny. Understand? Alright, Boreella. Whatever you say. Ooh, cutscene. Master! I apologize for being gone so long. <sighs> What the? When it was a student, I was curious. But it's just you. Is that a lady? You're a cat. <laughs> what are you gawking at? What's so unusual about a talking cat these days? Uh... Come on now. It's unusual, all right. It's just crazy. You think it's weird, don't you? I'm afraid I have to disagree. What? In my tribe, cats are looked at as intelligent. To see that one is able to talk, I'm not surprised. Excuse me? No, that's not what I meant. Wait, is it me? Am I a weirdo? <laughs> Pipe down. I don't like loudmouthed brats. What did you call me? Now, Frankie, since you did come all this way to see me, I assume it must be something urgent, right? Yes. We've been searching for a man named Gilbert, you see. I haven't been able to find him within my network. So, of course, I thought Master might know. Gilbert. You mean Professor Gilbert? Oh, he knows him. I've been oh. hearing a few rumors. Or she knows him. That he's been involved in some pretty odd research here and there. Oh, Master! I knew you would know all about him! So, do you also know where he is now? 
Hold on. I have a few questions of my own first. Mm hmm. Who the hell are these kids? And why are they looking for Gilbert? D don't call me a kid. We just want to ask you something. You are a kid, though. <laughs> So he can, no idea. he can kind of Gilbert, control it. For some reason, he seemed to know. So we need to find him and hear everything he knows. Mm, ah, I see. Mm. Is that the reason That's for really us to actually travel around? But I'm sorry to say, I haven't the foggiest idea where he is. Hm. I do know where his research lab is, though. It's where he was working out of until just recently. Anything is fine. We just really need any help you can give. Hmm, yes, I can see that you do. I might be able to help you. Perhaps we can make a little deal. Uh-oh. Ever heard of Al Capone? He's the man who runs this city. We've definitely heard the name. I guess so. I've heard the name. Capone pulled a few jobs, you see, and got himself thrown into Alcatraz prison. Uh, we, you want us to so go to you Alcatraz? To you, you'll break him out. Wait, excuse me? No, no! Master, helping a criminal escape? It's out of the question! Well, if that's the way you feel, then that's just a shame. I don't think I'll be able to help you kids after all. Oh, and Frank. Since when did you become so high and mighty that you can... <sighs> uh oh Judge me! <sighs> Man, cats are trash! No choice. It's a deal. We'll do it. You're a quick learner, aren't you, kid? I've got to tell you, I'm quite impressed. We have a deal. Hmm? Excuse me, Mao, but... Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't know you had guests. Don't worry. We were just finishing up. Is he sitting on Frank? <laughs> it's very nice or is she? You. I'm sorry. And I'm... My name is Edna Capone. Oh. Huh? Did she say Capone? Yes. She happens to be Al Capone's kid sister, you see. Ah. So, did you come to see Ricardo again? Ricardo? Mm -hmm. Who's Ricardo? He's a wandering guitarist. Well, we say he's wandering, but he's been living in town for a year. Oh, if you all would like it, he's going to be performing and we could all go see him together. It starts soon on the huh? stage downstairs. Hey, I'll go. Uh, but... Fine. We don't leave until tomorrow. Go ahead. Have a good time until then. We don't leave? We? Who's we? Well, I guess uh, it's time for us, uh, you know, to to have some R and R. I guess. Ah, is this the mariachi? Definitely dresses like one.
would want to sit next to Frank. Damn, even Nathan enjoying the music. That's for the smoking hot lady! Wink! Wonderful, Ricardo. Your playing was beautiful. Yes, thank you for coming. I was thinking of only you while I played. Damn. <laughs> You're just saying that, but thanks. Smooth. Mm. Mm. By the way, who are they? Oh, Mao introduced me to them. I invited them to come along with me to listen to your performance. Oh, well, in that case... How about another song, for your trouble? What would you like me to play? Sorry, but I think we should probably be going. Uh, uh, just one more song. Johnny, we've got an early day tomorrow. Good night. Bye. Good night. Well, I guess uh, bedtime for the kids. And the yeah. adult Perhaps you should adults are gonna have some fun. I guess so. You're worried about your brother, no? It is in your eyes. I'm sorry. No need to apologize. I mean, your brother is a ma- is that, a- Perhaps there will be more time for us. Hmm? Is the head of- um, uh, uh, Is the head of the mafia? You of know, course he's gonna be in jail. Right. He's in endangered. You see, my brother really wants me to start dating an honest and trustworthy man. When he finds out that you and I are seeing each other... I am happy to take that risk, my darling. Damn! <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to bed. Good night, my Ricardo. Good night. PG-13, huh? Otherwise they would have uh, gone together. Well, I guess this game is not PG-13 with ladies dressing like that. She, she's walking alone in the streets dressing like that? Oh god. Walking alone like this. <laughs> I know you. The McManus family, right? I hope you know this is Capone territory. 
You're definitely Capone's sister, all right, if you got guts like that. But now, your brother's been locked up in jail, remember? He's got no territory. Damn! <laughs> Scream for help! Scream for help! Come with us. Stop! Let me go! Ricardo! <clears throat> oh shit! Punched her right in the kidney. My, that was quicker than expected. Yes, well, we've got to prepare to leave. I'm impressed. You've got guts. Some guys still haven't returned yet, so uh, if you see them uh, while you're out, tell them to come back and see me. And Kit, this isn't the type of town where you let ladies walk around alone at night. Keep an eye on her, okay? Oh. Should've, uh... Should have gone with your uh, with your own with your own advice. Now Edna is kidnapped. Well, I guess they still don't know. Sure, leave it up to me. Hmm. Anything special here? I don't think so. There's a treasure chest uh, over here that contains rage. This one, uh, if I, uh, if I remem remember correctly, will increase... Uh, this one will increase our uh, physical attack power. Again, uh, these, uh, these magi magic attacks won't be really beneficial for me. Until I get, you know, uh, until uh, I get the arc version, which targets uh, all of my allies. Some guys still haven't returned, so tell them to come back if you see them. Alright. It's time for us to head back. Where uh, should we go and sleep, though? Can we head inside uh, Al Capone's uh, office now? Guess not. I mean, you can get inside and listen to the music. We did, uh, actually that reminds me, we did meet uh, with uh, new enemies. Uh, let's go ahead and check them uh, at the library. P uh, Pity Mafioso, a new member of Capone's Mafia gang, carries a uh, pistol as proof of his admission to the family. Constantly worrying whether, this, uh, whether the safety catch uh, on his pistol is, uh, whether the safety catch, uh, on his pistol is off. <laughs> and, uh, Mafia Hoodlum. Mafia underling, uh, underling member of Capone's gang uses a club that cuts, uh, like a knife. Always on the front line in battles, a remarkably calm and fearless character. That's cool. Actually, we also met a new characters here.
the Ring Spirit, the one of the judgment ring that governs all destinies, descending to the human world on an important mission. She's still a bit awkward and unused to things here. Oh, so she, it's a she. Uh, yeah, because I remember uh, the previous uh, Ring Spirit uh, was a he, and he had a family, a wife and kids. Zonda. Young chief of the Gada who live in the Grand Canyon, promised to Shania by his parents, uh, still feels a sense of uh, inferiority as a uh, as chieftain compared to his father. And Navuti, the medicine man of the uh, Gada tribe, despite his age, he's still full of uh, curiosity, or just full of beans. <laughs> he's not. He's secretly trying to develop new medicine using uh, UMAs. Is that so? Masatuchi Morino Yamaguchi. Once a uh, snapmaster for three years running, he has a, Jap a Japanese father and a Filipina mother. His uh, singing voice and exotic mask uh, made him a big star in his uh, y younger days. He doesn't look Japanese at all. He doesn't look Asian at all. Ah, uh, Ricardo Gomez, a mariachi who charms with his tunes. Before meeting Edna and settling in Chicago, he wandered the country with his guitar. Has a weakness for the ladies. Ooh. Ooh. Ricardo. Amigo. We took snap cards uh, of these guys as well. Uh, Nervy, Greenhorn, uh, Mafioso, and Gutsy Mafia Underling, the Mafia Hobo. All right, let's go ahead and continue. Well, there's Nathan over here. And these guys actually uh, didn't uh, didn't see the other gang the other gang kidnap Edna. I mean, this uh, street seems full of uh, people. Huh? All right. So summary viewers of the uh, of the event. We are in Chicago, and uh, apparently there's a uh, there's some sort of a, a turf war between two uh, uh, two uh, mafia gangs. Or is it is it a single mafia gang? Is the mafia a single uh, you know single gang, or is it uh, two? Or is it more than a than a? than a single gang. I really don't know. But, anywho, <laughs> I digress. Uh, there, uh, there's a turf war between between two gangs. The Capones and the McManus. And right now, uh, I think... Uh, the, uh, the Capone family is ruling most of the area. But we've seen... Uh, we've seen... Uh, We've seen Edna, Edna Capone, the sister to Al Capone, the head honcho of the Capone family. Uh, his sister Edna got kidnapped by the McManus gang. So, uh, I guess we'll have to do something about that. We st The party still don't know what's uh, happening, so... We'll have to... Uh, we'll have to continue with the story and see... Uh, what will happen? Will we actually prioritize uh, getting uh, Al out of uh, Alcatraz, or uh, are we going to uh, try and track down Edna? Hmm. I was told to get the people who uh, hadn't come back, right? Uh, not really. <laughs> you were telling the truth after all, huh? I'm sorry for uh, down doubting you. Mark's on duty. Hey, we're already closed for the day. 
if you don't want to get uh, ventilated, get the hell out of here. Now. Well, I guess this guy is uh, one of the... Uh, one of the McManus, huh? Can we... Uh, get inside from the back? Oh, we can't. Frank is here. Stop, you can't just go in there. You don't know uh, what those monsters will do to you. Alright, so I guess... Uh, I guess we can't do anything. Where did we see Shania? I really don't know. Maybe Shnai is actually inside trying to, to enjoy some music. Let's go ahead and try and talk to Nathan. Ah, uh, both of them are, are here, huh? Princess, forgive me. I still have not found anything out. You've done enough for tonight. Come back and get some rest. Yes, Princess. Uh, you don't have to kneel down like that. We still don't know about the princess part, huh? Oh, I guess uh, Shania is with us, huh? So we have to actually group uh, all of the people. So that's time for us to go up, uh, track down Frank. He's in here. I don't know what he's doing, though. The booze is really flowing in this town. It's not good. Old Frank cannot allow it. More importantly than that, your master asked uh, about you, as in, when is he coming back? The, the master? Understood. I'm going back right uh, right away. So it's, uh, yeah, we are in the prohibition. Which makes sense, because uh, viewers, Al Capone is actually... Uh, uh, like his, uh, Al Capone is, ba is, uh, based on the real Al Capone. Which, uh, was, uh, actually... The, uh, head the honcho of the Mafia, back in the day. I think he died in prison. Huh, <laughs> uh-oh, uh-oh! I think he actually died in prison. I, I'm not really sure. I, I think I've seen a, a documentary about him. Um, I, like a couple of years ago, I think, uh, you know, the documentary was talking about the routes that he'd been taking, you know, to actually, uh, you know, to, uh, to capitalize on the prohibition. Actually, he was, uh, probably the, uh, you know, the history, uh, uh, claims that, uh, it's, uh, because of him that, uh, that the government have seen that there is, uh, no, no use of actually, uh, continuing the prohibition. I don't know how long it lasted, though. All right, let's talk to Mom. You've been through a lot. Those two uh, are already resting. They get some rest too. Still got preparation to make. Nah, we're 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 good. We're good. Let's go ahead and end uh, our day. Damn. This guy must be Al Capone. You made yourself at home yet, Capone? Elliot, you rat! Who you the hell is that? In this place for something stupid like tax evasion? What are you up to, cop? Hey, I'm insulted. You really think I'd arrest you for something boring like that? I think Al Capone Sorry, was bald. I just got a bit worked up. 
Nice trench coat, though. What are you here for? If a detective's here to see the Mafia boss, it must be big. Ever hear of a guy called Killer? Killer? Huh. Come on. I have no idea what you're getting at. But don't go linking the Mafia with that low life. Oh, he knows about him. <sighs> and I guess there's well, someone guess investigating Killer. Your time and, mine. and probably Lady. One more thing. I might as well tell you while I'm here. Someone who looks a lot like Killer has been spotted right here in Chicago. What? Hey, I gotta get out of here. Right now. Hey, relax. It may just be tax evasion, but a crime's still a crime. You can think about that while you're eating the slop they serve here. Back in New York City, Killer murdered more than 30 of my colleagues. But the time has come. Damn. He's gonna pay. Was it really him or was it Lady? Ellie. That thing in New York? Something ain't right. Ellie. Be careful. Huh. This guy is Elliot, huh? Seems to be a... a cop. Sort of a detective. Uh-oh. Oh, she was there all along. <laughs> That's been a long time, and... What do you think you're doing? Kidnapping me like this! Who the hell is that guy? I want you to be my girl. Uh-oh. I've had my eye on you for quite a while. Besides, with you and I together, Chicago will finally be mine. It's just not my style to keep on fighting over this town forever. How does that work? You can't be serious. Who do you think you are? Do you think my brother's gonna let you get away with this? What's he gonna do from a prison cell? You know he'll get out soon. Yeah, perhaps. But if he does get out, it'll only be one way. And that'll be as a corpse. Uh, what do you mean? I've already got a hitman planted inside his jail. You got it? Damn, Irish. Like brother dear's no longer going to be around to protect you. Is it Irish or is it Basically, Scottish? You are mine now. No, I think it's Scottish. God damn it, Mel Gibson! Is it because of that, Ricardo? No, oh, he knows about Ricardo. I just don't get you. I mean, who's the better man anyway? I mean, he is a uh... no good bum of a guitar player. I mean, <laughs> it doesn't matter. Even a kid could figure that out. I mean, uh, it doesn't uh, don't understand. matter. In love. She has the money. In she doesn't love care. Ricardo and Ricardo alone. You think that I'm less of a man than he is? <laughs> no, you listen to me. I don't think I you will convince her want. like that. You're my girl. And I don't ever want you to say his name again. Ricardo! What? What the? Oh no!
Why did you have to do that? Now you're in the... Well, you're in a lot of trouble. <laughs> oh, poor I know to get rid of her, but... If the Capones find out, our lives won't be worth living. Uh-oh. Hey, lady. Huh? Hey, who are you guys? Hey, you! Hey, don't come any closer! Oh, she's alive. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh oh, now uh, she's a zombie. I think. Oh shit! She can use the force now. Why did she help her? Why are they here? That's a little bit confusing. Uh, anywho, we have a new area now. I think uh, we're not gonna inves investigate Edna because I think she's fine now. So we need to continue to Alcatraz. But before we do that, I want to go back to New York. There's something that we want to do. Two things, actually. One of them... ...is actually go check uh, on the Ring Spirit. And give her uh, a fragment. The fragment that we found. Hey, Ring Spirit! Thanks, but... Try not to yell ring spirit so loudly. Okay, um, is there th something else I can call you? Hey now. Hey, now that I think about it, I don't know your name either. Didn't we introduce ourselves? Now that you mention it, maybe not. <laughs> we're, s uh, we're so weird, aren't we? My name is Aya. What's yours? Aya, hmm. This name sounds familiar. That's an unexpectedly uh, normal name. I'm Johnny. Johnny Garland. Johnny, huh? Alright then, little Johnny. Oh, sh did you just call him little Johnny? Here's the reward for this time. Attack boost acquired. Make sure you call me by my name uh, from now on, okay? Bye-bye. Little Johnny? She's getting a little too familiar. I mean, we don't know her age. Huh, she said that her name is Aya. Hmm. Hmm. 